energy can be transformed from one form to another. An electric motor transforms electrical energy into kinetic energy, and a solar panel transforms light energy into electrical energy. Energy cannot be created or destroyed, it can only transform from one form to another. We've seen lots of examples of energy transformations in the first two episodes of the Shedding Light on Energy series. However, even though, for example, light lobes are supposed to convert electrical energy into light energy, no light lobes can transform 100% of the electrical energy that goes into them into light energy. In most energy transformations, heat energy is also produced as an unwanted byproduct. In this particular globe, an older style incandescent light globe, only about 2% of the electrical energy that's going into it is actually being transformed into light energy. The rest is being transformed into heat energy. It feels really hot if I put my hand here. Efficiency is a measure of how much useful energy you get out of something compared to the amount of energy that goes into it. The emphasis here is on the word useful. All the electrical energy that goes into a light globe gets transformed into other forms of energy. But since in the case of this incandescent globe only 2% is transformed into the type of energy that we want, light energy, the light globe has an efficiency of only 2%. This LED light globe, however, has an efficiency of 20%, 10 times more than the incandescent. An LED light globe can generate 10 times as much light using the same amount of electricity. Or the other way of thinking about it is, it can generate the same amount of light using only one-tenth of the electricity. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at this concept of efficiency and at how scientists and engineers are continuously inventing new devices that become more and more efficient. So let's begin. This is a 60 watt incandescent light globe and this is a 500 watt incandescent light globe. The 500 watt light globe is obviously quite a lot brighter than the 60 watt light globe. But what is a watt? What does 60 watts for example mean? The watt given the symbol W is the unit for power and power is defined as the amount of energy that is transformed per second. So, 1 watt equals 1 joule per second. 500 watts is 500 joules per second. In our last episode, we saw that we use different amounts of energy per second depending on what we're doing. Walking slowly requires about 200 joules of energy per second. Another way of saying this is that when we're walking, our power output is about 200 watts. 200 watts equals 200 joules per second. My power output when I'm running at this speed is about 700 watts because I'm converting 700 joules of chemical energy into kinetic and heat energy per second. 700 watts equals 700 joules per second. Thanks for watching this short excerpt from Shedding Light on Energy Episode 3, Energy Efficiency. The three-part Shedding Light on Energy series allows teachers to teach the topic of energy really easily without actually using much energy. With a perfect mix of biology, chemistry and physics, we explore every aspect of energy, including what it is and how we measure it. In episode 3 of the series, Energy Efficiency, we explore the concept of efficiency. Efficiency is a measure of how much useful energy you get out of something compared to the amount of energy that you put into it. LED globes, for example, have an efficiency of about 20%. What exactly does that mean? This video explains it all. After a brief introduction, we look at the scientific definition of power before analysing the efficiency of a range of energy transfer processes, including electric lighting and locomotion. Our highly visual approach to educating students, combined with perfectly structured activity sheets, allows them to learn far more easily and far more effectively, with a lot less effort from the teacher. And who doesn't want that? You can read a transcript of the video that has dozens of screen grabs and download the student activity sheet on our website at www.liakoseducationalmedia.com. So visit us today.